An Army veteran in Polk County has been living without power since Hurricane Irma hit three weeks ago. He's desperately waiting on a FEMA inspector. News Channel 8's Corey Davis is joining us live tonight in Bartow. He's at the FEMA Disaster Recovery Center. So what's the hold up there, Corey? Well, Keith, good evening to you. We are told extremely high demand has a whole lot to do with it, and FEMA officials actually extended the hours of operation here at the Stewart Center from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day until further notice. That tree crushed the back of the house. All the bathrooms, uh, all my clothes and TVs and stuff in the back room, they're gone. Massive damage inside his home. Nothing has changed for Jonathan Bonney since Hurricane Irma three weeks ago. It's been three weeks three and weeks. no power. No power. Nothing but war. The Army veteran has been living alone with his dog in this home on Fairview Avenue in Bartow. His wife died years ago, now on a fixed income and disabled. He has nowhere to go. It's been rough, I'm telling you. He's trying to do something about it, telling us he applied for federal aid from FEMA two weeks ago and has been waiting on an inspector to come by. What do you need right now? Everything. Ain't nothing I got in the house is good. Bonnie can't afford to move into the new apartment he found. That's where he's hoping FEMA could lend a hand. When you're on set income, you just can't, can't do no more. He isn't alone. Across the street, relatives of a neighbor are also trying to get financial help. And with this little rain we've been having off and on, no telling what it kind of damage it doing to the roof. Vivian Schuler, just one of many waiting at the FEMA Disaster Recovery Center at the Stewart Center in Bartow. Hours of operation here extended due to high demand. The skylight. We have a new skylight in our carport that we never had before. Diane and James Dirk also in need. One out of ten. Ten being a lot of help, a ten. And today we told Polk County volunteers about Mr. Bonnie's situation and Keith, they are working on some possible options for him. Well, let's hope Actually. so. I mean, he's been waiting for two weeks. I don't know if that's normal or not, Corey, but I mean, they're talking about extending the hours, but... That does no good if they don't have the people to actually go out and check on people like this gentleman. I mean, is that a normal wait, two weeks or more? I did ask the uh, manager out here, and she did say that it does take long in some situations. They have a long list to go through, and they're trying to get to as many people as possible, Keith. All right, look forward to the update for this gentleman. Thank you. Corey Davis, live in Bartow.